1953 to 1957, multiple excavations took place in a village of Banpo, which is located near Shan, China. Builders in Banpo were building the foundations for a factory, and while they were digging into the earth, they discovered pottery and human remains. The site soon became an archaeological site, and people continued to study it. Today, the village of Banpo is home to one of the best-known sediments of the Yangshao culture. So who are the Yangshao? The Yangshao culture was an early Neolithic Chinese culture which flourished along the Yellow River Valley around 5000 to 3000 BCE. The culture is named after Yangshao, the first excavated site of this culture. Many items were found during the excavation. In fact, more than a thousand stone tools were discovered, along with pots, jewelry, kilns, and human remains. Based on their discoveries, they were able to unravel many mysteries about this culture. For example, what did they eat? Millet grain residue was found in some of the vessels, which suggested that this was one of their main food sources. Animal remains were also found on site, which suggests the Yangshao domesticated animals such as dogs and pigs. Tools found also suggested that they practiced farming from time to time. But they also had periods of nomadic behavior where they settled but moved from place to place in search of food. They did build homes, however, and they lived in multifamily structures made primarily of wood. Their homes were dug into the earth about three feet deep. The homes were circular in shape, but later they would become more rectangular. They had clay and earth floors. The whole structure was supported by wooden beams. The walls were baked clay and the roof was supported by posts that interlocked each other. Inside the structure was a designated area for a large fire. Finally, it was finished off with a thatched roof. Something really interesting about this culture is that they had a designated area for firing ceramics. The Yang Shao used updraft kilns to produce a range of beautiful pottery. In fact, they are famous for their crafted pottery. Yang Shao artisans created fine white, red, and black painted pottery with symbols, animal motifs, and geometric shapes. The Yang Shao did not use the pottery wheel. That was not invented yet. They used the coiling method and everything was made by hand. A cemetery on site showed that children were buried in painted pottery jars. They also found that women were mostly the ones buried among their belongings. In fact, the Yang Shao were buried among their belongings, such as beautiful pottery and jewelry. There were two main types of pots found on site, earthenwares and stonewares. Earthenwares were an early pot that was fired at a low temperature in open pits. Stonewares were more complex, and they were the result of the development of kilns that could fire vessels at a higher temperature. This would produce a harder surface. So how did they color their vessels? Well, color was created by mineral impurities, especially iron compounds ranging from yellow, orange, browns, and blacks. How did they paint their surfaces? They painted the colors directly on the surfaces of the pots, or dipped the pots in slit. Slip is made from a water-like clay colored with iron oxide. The main colors they used were reds and blacks. How did they decorate these pots? Well, they used brownish black colored ground. They would use red and they'd create stylized animal motifs, abstract designs, angular curves, stripes, zigzags, circles, spirals, and waves.